Hmm. Yeah, 1969, Kathmandu. Big here in hippie history for sure. Cafes in Kathmandu, full of thick, legal, how she smoke. Accommodation, amazingly cheap. On Freak Street, 10, 20 cents a night. And the natural landscape up here in the Himalayas. Kathmandu Valley is even 3,000 feet high. Oh, up by swine, <laughs> oh, yeah, across these little rickety bridges across the Kathmandu River. And, uh, you're out in the country, mellow, inspiring. Yeah, in that cabin, uh, cafe, uh, that's where I first saw Eddie in 1969. I was an impressionable 22-year-old, and uh, wow, the way Eddie danced, uninhibited. Mm -hmm. So languid, so unconcerned, <laughs> uh, so free, so absolutely free. And I mean, compared to this loser jazzy man, I felt uh, <laughs> kind of tight and uh, self-conscious. So, I mean, he's uh, about my father's age. Yeah, I felt rigid. Well... Eddie laughed often, and since he was nothing special, he was real easy to hang out with. And my affection for him deepened over this Himalayan spring. Yeah, in these are cafes, uh, the Linkasar, Blue Tibetan, the cabin. Uh, Eddie was a lightning-witted humorist. Uh, you know, at his uh, mid-40s, always the theatrical kid going way back to his childhood. Uh, yeah, the uh, resident hipster rock tour in the, these smoky lounges. So here's an example. Uh, Eddie playfully spars with Carl, uh, a camp follower of his from Go. Carl's asks, uh, well, uh, Eddie... I sure hope my next life will be better than this one, Eddie. What makes you sure you're going to have another life? Uh, don't you think so, Eddie? Eddie, isn't one life enough uh, to do all you want to do? Oh, Carl, uh, if there's no uh, afterlife... Uh, what will happen when I die? Well, Eddie, well, uh, probably what happened to you before you were born. I don't know. Uh, you mean, uh, I just become nothing? Isn't that the goal of Eastern religions? <laughs> Laughs Eddie and all the other people in the cafe, yeah. I thought enlightenment was the goal, protests Carl. Look, Carl, enlightenment is the end of thinking about yourself. Uh-oh, French Bridget bursts into the cafe, hashish den culture, and she asks Eddie, Eddie, should I take LSD? Well, his profound answer is, that's up to you. That blows everybody away. <laughs> Acid, 1969, Kathmandu, plentiful, free, everywhere. <laughs> yeah. During the full moon, we freaks gathered on the slopes of Hawaiian Bunath on the outside of town. Total nature on this hill, a uh, temple. Uh, during the climactic spring of 1969, there are mass acid happenings, and I was right in the middle of it. Let me tell you what that felt like. 